AR15mold.com. In this video, we're going to show you how to bend and install the stainless steel Freedom 15 brace. The left leg of the brace has been pre bent slightly forward to identify which direction to bend each leg of the brace. Seven small cutouts have been added to the brace to aid in the locations on where you need to bend each arm. This is what the final brace should look like once it's bent. Notice that the two top arms bend in and then flare back out. Your finished brace doesn't have to look exactly like this one. However, it should look similar and fit the mold. Look closely at how the two arms flare in and then flare out. This is the contour you're trying to match. Use a large pair of chenna locks to make the first bend on each ear. The first bend on the top two legs will move the legs past the center line of the buffer tube. Be sure that as you're bending each of the legs, you keep them in sync. That way they match up with each other. It's important to keep the legs matched together and straight as you're performing this bending process. Keep working the two arms in while working each of the arms in order to get them in the correct location. Use your channel locks to flare the arms back out at the two red circled areas. Use your channel locks to flare out both loops that lock around the rear takedown pin so that way they're straight and they can actually drop on and into the mold. Using a regular set of pliers might make this step a little bit easier. But what you're trying to do is literally bend these two arms back in and flare out the piece that goes around the rear takedown pin. Start the bottom leg bend at the top notch. Be sure to make this a nice gentle bend and then you're going to continue the bend at the second notch. Continue the bend at the second notch. Continue the bend of the second notch so the tang is a little past the center of the buffer tube plug. Use your channel locks to bend the tang that has the hand grip bolt in the opposite direction, adjusting this so that way it fits correctly into the mold. Now it's time to test fit and tweak the assembly in the mold. After a few test fits in the mold, your brace should look very similar to this one. You may have to fine tune the brace a bit in order to get it to drop right into the mold. You want the brace to fit tight around the trigger group. What you're looking for is about 75 thousandths of clearance on each side. Be sure to screw the bolt into the brace so that way the brace lies flat in the mold. The assembly order is slightly different with the brace. Everything is installed in the right hand side of the brace except for the trigger group, the buffer plug, and the pin. And then also you have the three step pin, the rear detent pin that the brace sits on, and then also you have the bolt that creates the hand grip threads. Slide the brace over the top of the buffer plug and then place the pin. Next you're going to go ahead and set this down on top of the pin that creates the rear takedown pin and then slide the trigger group in place and then press the whole assembly down into position. The two completed halves are now ready to be assembled together. 
be sure to remove the fill plug before assembling. Pick up the two halves and carefully snap together while trying not to unseat any of the parts. After you have snapped the two halves together and none of the parts have come unseated, you're ready to bolt the mold together with the four bolts and make your pour. Don't forget to apply silicone to the mold halves before you snap them together.